Hello and welcome. I wanted to keep this video short because it's just a little hot fix to the conveyor system. If you ran into an issue with too many inputs, I put 10 boxes here in my tier one area and 10 more boxes in my tier two. On the original video, you'd run into the error, too many inputs. And that's because these conveyors are drawing from all of the other boxes in its tier, plus all of the boxes in the previous tier. Now that's because conveyors can only pull from 16 boxes at a time and it's pulling from its own tier here, which if you have 10 plus boxes, you know, you're talking about nine boxes here and then another 10 from here, you're looking at 19 boxes for all these conveyors are trying to pull from and they can only pull from 16. This is a way you can hook it up without redoing your whole system and it will work perfectly fine. So how it works is you plug your tier one into the industrial one and then two boxes in this tier in slot two and three. And then you plug this combiner into slot one and then two more boxes all the way up. So you just want to keep on combining the top of the combiner into slot one of the next combiner and add two boxes each time. I've put one metal frag in each of these boxes, every single one of them, except for, I'll take it out of this one. This is the one that I'm going to pull them all into. So there are nine metal frags in here, one in each box, and then there are another 10 metal frags in here, one in each box. Heck, I'll just put one in there as well. So now there's 10 in here, one in there, and another nine in here. Theoretically, this should not work, but you'll see if I turn this on and it pulls it, and I have 20 metal frags in here. This is just a quick fix. It will probably be patched relatively soon. However, I do happen to know that they are reworking how conveyors work with splitters and storage adapters, all that stuff. That's all getting a rework, which will probably be out next month. So I'll have to redo this whole system anyway and come up with a 2.0. But uh, so if you're running into this issue this month, this little fix will tide you over at least until the next update. Thanks for watching.